Heavy Russian airstrikes on Ukraine have killed five people and wounded dozens more. Russia attacked Kharkiv with waves of missiles during the morning rush hour. There were also missile attacks on the capital, Kyiv. This all comes the day after President Putin vowed to intensify strikes on Ukraine. A correspondent in Kyiv, James Waterhouse, sent this update. This is how close the missile got to hitting this block of flats. The crater is about five metres deep. And just look at the devastation caused. You can see the windows completely, not blown through, blasted through. You can see drying laundry, or what was once drying laundry inside. Smoke is billowing higher up. And even the block on the other side has been blown through. And the buildings across the road from there, such as the force generated from blasts like this. In case it wasn't obvious, this is from a missile, but Russia uses drones as well. And to be honest with you, we haven't seen attacks like this since the early days and weeks of the invasion. Last night, there was a six hour missile and drone attack where air defenses could be heard all night. And then there were again, explosions this morning. Vladimir Putin said he wanted to uh, respond to a Ukrainian drone attack across the border into Russia this week, despite it being in response to Russia's biggest ever aerial bombardment of Ukraine. The timing is also significant as well, because there were fears Russia had been stockpiling missiles like these to use around the New Year period. And with no more military aid set to arrive from the US for now, attacks like this test air defence systems which rely on continued Western help to be replenished in the long term. So it's incredibly uncertain. It's an incredibly critical time for Ukraine. James Waterhouse there in Kyiv.